Hi, I'm looking at queries now for the Advanced DCDL using Access 2007. And the queries I want to have a look at for this video are the update queries, make tables, delete queries, and append queries. Now, what's different about these types of queries is they all affect the data. All of the other queries just have a look at the data and present them in a format that's useful to us. But these four types of queries actually make changes to the data in the tables in some way. Now, the question I'm going to have a look at here says that you need to upgrade the wage for anyone who's on a grade C up to £2,250 uh, by modifying the update wages query. So let's have a look at the design of this one so far. You see they've started it for us. And we've got the wages and the grade columns already in there. So it says anyone who's on a grade C has got to be paid 22500 So the criteria is that somebody has got to be on a grade C. But there's nothing at the moment to change that person's wage. So we've got a change here to an update query. Now we get this new row across here. If we type in 22000 500. Let's have a look at it first of all rather than actually running it just to make sure that it looks reasonably sensible. So at the moment all the people on grade C are on £21,000. If we go back that looks sensible to me so now I'm going to do run and you have a question to confirm that you want to update the records. Click on yes and the query has now run. So we'll save that query close it and on to the next one. All right, next one I'm going to have a look at is asking us to make up a table for anyone who has a work location of Blaby. And again, the query has been started for us. So let's have a look at the design. We've already put all of the fields in here and you're going to need all of the fields uh, to create the new table to make sure that all the fields appear in the new table going to click on the make table option and it's asking us now for the table name uh, that we're going to create so we're going to call this workers in Blaby obviously the name will be supplied for you in the question and click on OK and now again I'm going to view it ah this is wrong because it's got everyone there not just the people in Blaby at the moment so we have to put a criteria in I'm going to put a criteria in here of Blaby. Again, I'm going to view it. That looks sensible now. It's extracted all the correct people. Go back into the view and I'll run the query. It says here to confirm it's going to paste 11 rows into a new table. That's fine. That's what we want. Save the changes we've made to the query and close it. Right, this question asks us to delete all courses that started before the 1st of the 1st, 2011. And again, they've started a query for us called Delete Old Courses. So have a look at the design view of this one. Okay, we're going to change this to a delete type query. And the criteria was before the 1st of the 1st, 2011. So let's type this in now. Less than 1st of the 1st, 2011. 11. Again, I'm going to view it first of all. Okay, and you see that I've got seven records here, which is useful information. Okay, and it looks fine. So now I will run it. And it says I'm about to delete those seven rows. So I know I'm doing the right thing. I'm going to say yes. And now I save that query. And close it. Right, finally, I want to have a look at the append query. Okay, so this time I want to take the new workers table. I've got two new workers in this table. And I would like to add them into the workers table here. So we can use an append query. Again, we've got one that's been started already. Include new workers here. Look at the design. And all that's done is included all of the fields from the new work table there. So I'm going to change this into an append query and it's asking us which table we're going to append it to and we can select 
the workers table there. So click on OK. It's selected that there. If I click on view, it shows the two workers in the table there that we wanted. So all I have to do is run it. And that's done it. It's now included the workers from the new workers table onto the end of the workers table. All right, okay, save it now. Close it off. And that's the end of the update. Make table, delete queries, and append queries. Hope that helps.